So we just did our last survey point and we are in the Sawtooth Mountains at this beautiful alpine lake and we were lucky enough to see a black rosy finch. I remember my first alpine survey. We were like at point four or five of the survey kind of running out of space and thinking like, oh, oh well, you know. And then all of a sudden we, I was just, I just heard a, a bird and I was like, I have never heard that bird in my life, except on Xenocanto, that's a black rosy finch. And I just, I'll never forget that first black rosy finch that I saw. They're just this crazy bird that is inhabiting this very rugged environment. And they're also extremely beautiful birds, like black, pink, and gray. No other bird has that coloration in North America. And every survey we get a finch on, it's always so exciting. Black rosy finches are one of those species. Um, we, we don't know a ton about them. However, we've learned a lot more in the past few years. And because of the threats of climate change on the alpine habitat, we think that they could be in trouble. The alpine has changed in the last 50 to 70 years, and so has the climate. And so if we don't get up here now and see what's going on with these birds, we might miss what's affecting them with the changing climate. This morning we're doing a traverse across the talus, across this whole basin, and every 250 meters we place a point and we sit there and do a 15 minute point count. And during that point count, we're targeting black rosy finches, American pika, mountain goats, bighorn sheep, and hoary marmots. So it's really important to be collecting this baseline data on these species of greatest conservation need so that we can either find out ways to conserve them and then delist them from our state list or find out what their status is and maybe what we need to do to conserve them better. So by coupling the work of researchers like Tempe here up in Idaho, um, our other colleagues across the Intermountain West, we're able to piece together the full story, the full year-round life cycle story for rosy finches so that we can then protect, manage, conserve them.